All right, everyone, welcome back to a new customization video. Today, we're gonna be doing the Mammoth Patriot mill spec. I was just cleaning out all my garages, trying to get all my supercars of a certain kind in one place, and I was cleaning out the agency, and I noticed this guy wasn't customized. So let's just get into it. It's an Amani Tech vehicle. I don't really have an off-road version of one yet, so let's definitely do some for this guy. I can do some heavy plated doors. That looks pretty awesome. Definitely gonna do that. 150,000. So I'm guessing it's also, yeah, it adds protection to not just to the doors. We'll do the brakes, of course. Bull bar. And do a grill with an LED. I wonder if that turns on. I really hope it does. Same with this one. Fog lights. Wide grill. Wide grill. Fog lights. More fog lights. Another LED. Big one. Ooh, fog lights and LEDs. Okay. Get a big bar up top there. Okay. I think, I think I want to do this one, maybe chrome, oh, probably want painted actually, I thought that was sitting, I thought that was just going to be carbon fiber or something, but yeah, we're going to do just painted one for now, we might come back and change it, uh, if we can test the lights turning on maybe, we'll have to check it out, bumpers, we can do a primary color, chrome, off-road ridge, that's pretty sick, I like these, chrome, oh, are these all chrome, man, okay, Oh, uh, actually, I really like this one. I don't know if I want chrome. Though. Maybe it probably wouldn't look too bad. Oh, this one's the same one though. Never mind. The rear we can do chrome, black. Oh, I like that. Black off-road, off-road alt. Oh, that one's even cooler. Yep. Engine that can go all the way. Exhaust, chrome side, titanium. Oh, it's all side. Oh, never mind. Doubles. Dual trail. That looks kind of cool. Chrome exhausts. Trail exhaust. Maybe we'll do that. I, don't, I can't really tell what that is. Though. Is it like a wrap around it? Kind of looks like it. it. Looks cool though for the hood. New secondary. Primary vented. I really like the stock one with the two vents. Plastic cover. Vented cover. Chrome cover. I think we might keep it stock. I like the, I like the two vents there. Yep. No horn. Imani Tech. No control. It's a lock on. It's a lock on might as well. Protection is always nice. Headlights, I think we'll keep it white, honestly. Blue, it's not really my thing. You can put a neon on. Oh, I wish you could see where it comes from. Maybe, maybe not. Probably not. For the livery, we can do military issue. Patriot, black stripe. Oh, okay, so there's a white stripe there too. Double black stripe. Oh, that goes up there too. You say flag, 90 sandbox camo, geometric. Digital, oh, that's kind of cool. And that's it. Honestly, I think I might just want to do this one. It really, it's only this badge here, but I'm not too huge a fan of these, all the big camo ones. I think I want to do a flat color anyway. The mirrors, we can do primary. Modern ones, long stem ones, and bolted wide ones. Those are kind of cool. Yeah, let's do that. Plate, Twingo. Save the color. Oh yeah, we can put some machine guns on. Cool. Slick mines. Cool. Should we do a mat? Definitely thinking like a desert tan one. Yeah, let's see that one. Or metallic. Oh, this is secondary. Okay, so that's the roof there. It's probably just for secondary options too, mostly. Matte desert tan. Hmm. Might change it here actually. Primary. Oh, nice. We could have done that. Roof rack, that looks good. Chrome, nope. cargo one, just a bit more. Basket, double LEDs, that's a little much. I think, I like these style of lights too. I think we'll do the cargo roof rack. Oh, is that chrome? No, we're good. Sidestep, running ones, stock ones already look good. Oh, I like these ones with the paint, the nerf bars. Cruff, crux sidesteps. Off trail chrome. Hmm. I think I want to do these with the plated step. Yeah. Suspension. I think we'll keep it up for sure. New plate delete trunk. Is that chrome? Ah. Uh, yeah, might as well actually. Race transit up. For the truck bed. Gonna do black roll bar. Chrome one. Gladiator bar, a gladiator bar, that's pretty cool. Roll cage with a spare wheel, hard top, secondary, and then a solid one. Okay, I kind of like the openness of it. 
Not sure if I want that spare wheel, so I think we'll just go with Gladiator Robar. Turbo it up onto the wheels. We'll do some off-road ones. Oh yeah, it's the exact same too. Wheels are just a tad bit smaller, so nothing to worry about. And we can do, what does it have? Something like that. I don't see anyone too close. Okay, well let's do, let's do these. Concave Steelies. I'm a fan of steel wheels. Black, or should we do a tan? I think that, I think that goes together pretty well. Yeah, let's do that, okay. Tire design, not custom tires. Bulletproof it. No smoke, windows, I don't know. I think we'll tint those, just makes it hard to see, just in case, and we are armored, so it makes sense. That's about it. Damn, this thing does look pretty mean. I decided to take it out, oh, but I do want to make sure if these don't turn on, I do want to change that. I wasn't really able to test it. Can we do that here? Dang, we can't. All right, well, let's take it out. Here we go, moment of truth. Oh, they all turn on. How cool is that? All right, that's that makes me very happy. Let's take it for a drive. All right, we got mines too. Whoa. Okay. I thought they looked a little funky there. And it's got machine guns. Let's give these a little test on this car right here. All right, they're pretty weak, but they're cool. Probably definitely prefer using my drive-by weapons, but these are fun to use. But yeah, this is pretty cool. It's a pretty realistic army style Hummer H1 kind of thing. I think that's what it's called. It's got pretty soft suspension, it looks like. So very cool. Well, this, we need to take it off road for sure. It's kind of slow though. It's definitely not the fastest truck, but it's not terribly slow. Look out officer, I'm doing a review. All right, here we are at Mount Chiliad. We're gonna do a Chiliad hill climb. Let's see how well this thing does. All right, decent hill. Nothing too steep just yet, but it's handling pretty good. Now, it's pretty hard on keyboard. I can't really control how much throttle, so it's always at 100%. So let's let's see how it goes. Going off to the side a little bit. Got some wheel spin, but it's, it's going up okay. Seems okay. I'm going down now. Ugh. Landed it. All right. Let's go all the way up here and see how far we can get. Very nice. Doing all right. This is, I mean, this is very easy, so it's okay. Up here, oh shit. Oh, not like this. All right, we're fine. I wanna get up there and see how far we can get. All right, here we go, it's steep time. All right, this is pretty good. Pretty high gear right now. There we go. This is pretty good. This is this is pretty steep, I think. So, yeah, up here too. Very nice. As long as you keep the momentum up, this thing pretty, pretty grippy on the steep, steep hills. I might need another truck just right beside it to really see how steep it is or how fast this truck is. Yeah, that's pretty exciting. All right, that's a Mammoth Patriot mill spec. Pretty nice looking vehicle, if I do say so myself. Very happy that all the lights can turn on. Huge plus, sometimes they don't. Seems like with the newer vehicles they can, so pretty happy with that. Decent customization for it, lots of options, lots of off-road options too. I went with a little bit of a hybrid and military style and off-road, which looks pretty fire. Yeah, I'd give it a... Compared to other off-road trucks and stuff, it's definitely a very good one. So I'd give it a, a generous seven, medium eight maybe, light eight, good seven though. Pretty decent. How much does it cost? So on Southern San Andreas for $1.7 million on their off-road section. Trade price? After you do 15 security contracts, I'd say that's a much better price for it. I'd probably, it's not its not an urgent vehicle you need, so I'd, I'd do the security contracts. They're fun to do as well. So yeah, for $1.28 million, I'd say it's a definitely good price. $1.7 is a little much expected price for this kind of thing, for money tech as well. Yeah solid vehicle thank you so much for watching everyone leave a like if you enjoyed or a dislike if you didn't let me know what you think of the build let me know what you think of the mammoth patriot mill spec if you own one too that's about it see you all later